Matching the colors between cameras when you're color grading can be a real challenge. Using Cinematch from Film Convert, you can convert your footage from one log picture style to another. You can take advantage of false color guides to color correct your footage. And the best part is Cinematch's sensor match feature that allows you to accurately match different cameras while color grading. Cinematch has profiled the sensors of a bunch of different camera brands in order to determine how the color science for each of them works and how each of the cameras captures footage. That is how they're able to accurately help you match footage from different cameras at the sensor level. So with that in mind, let's have a look at how the Cinematch plugin works in Final Cut Pro. Let's start with a color matching example using these two clips. This first clip was shot in S-Log2 on the Sony a7 III, and the second clip was shot in HDR on the iPhone 12 Pro. That's why it looks all blown out. If we just go override the color space to Rec. 709, you can get an idea of what the shot looks like and how the two of them differ. I'll set that back to off. And then I'm going to add the Cinematch plugin to the first clip, the Sony a7 III clip. I'll go ahead and open up the controls and I'm going to start with step one, the sensor match. So I'll go ahead and choose Sony, the a7 III and the profile I shot in was the S-Log2 S gamut profile and it was the XAVCS codec. For this first clip, we're not matching it to another camera. So I'm going to leave this target camera selection blank and I'm just going to apply the Rec. 709 transform. So now I've converted this clip from S-Log2 to Rec. 709. You can also come into your HDR color management and choose your project space. We're in Rec. 709, so I'm not going to change that. And under the advanced settings, you can change your data range if you need to and play with the color settings. But generally, you're going to get the best results with the default settings from Cinematch. And you'll want to have sensor match and color space transform selected over here. So I'll hide that. And now we'll take a look at step two, which is our camera adjustments. I'm going to turn the exposure false colors on and you can choose between middle gray and skin tone. I'll leave it set to skin tone because that's an easy one for this clip. And I'm just going to drag the exposure down until the false color sort of fills my face. That'll indicate that the skin here is correctly exposed. So I'll turn the false colors off and that's a much better exposure. Next, I want to set the color temperature and the tint of the shot. I'll use the little color dropper and I'll just select a white part of the shirt. But this is also going to come in handy when it comes time to match the two shots. Just like with exposure, you have false colors for white balance and you can choose between temperature and tint to accurately check if your temperature and your tint is correct for the shot. Step three is match refinements. This is where you're going to come in and match the colors of the two cameras more accurately. So we'll worry about this when we start grading the second shot. You can also apply some secondary corrections to the clip. So I'm just going to bump the saturation up here to somewhere around, let's say 120. And on my RGB curves, I'm going to make a small S curve here just to boost the contrast. Something like that should do. Now in the dark shadowy areas of this shot, we've got quite a bit of red. So I'll come over to my red channel and I'm just going to drop the reds in these dark areas a little bit. That's a little bit too much. Something like that. Now our first clip is looking good. Let's move on to the second clip that we want to match with the first. I'll drop the Cinematch plugin onto the second clip and I'll go ahead and open up the controls. The first thing we need to do here is set the source camera. So I'll select Apple and it's the iPhone 12 Pro and I'm using the Dolby profile. Now here we're going to choose the target camera to convert this profile to the Sony profile that we're using over here. So I'll go ahead and select Sony, a7 III, and the profile that I shot in was the S-Log2 S gamut profile. So right away, this looks like an S-Log2 profile from the Sony, and I'll go ahead and apply a Rec. 709 transform. If you look at these two shots side by side, with only the sensor match and the Rec. 709 transform applied, you can see that the match is already quite close, but there's some work to be done to get them matching perfectly. I'll turn my false colors on for exposure, and I'll just adjust the exposure here until my face is totally orange. That's a better exposure. And I'm going to adjust the temperature and the tint of this shot, color picking from that exact same spot that I selected in the other shot. And that looks pretty good. I'll skip the match refinements for just a second because I want to boost the saturation to 120, which is what we had on the previous shot. And I want to make another S curve on this shot to sort of match the contrast we created in the previous clip. And again, we have quite a lot of red in the shadows. 
So I'll go ahead and just drop that a little bit in the shadows as well. We're getting closer now in terms of the match, but lastly, what we want to do is make sure that the blue in the sky matches on both shots, the green in the trees, and also the orange in the skin tones. This is where the match refinement step is gonna come in handy. I'm going to go ahead to the Sony clip here, and I want to match the Sony colors to the colors that I'm getting on this iPhone clip. Let's start with the blue in the sky. I'll go ahead and select the source color picker and select the sky. Then I'll move over to the iPhone clip and I'll select target and I'm going to select the sky over here. If you have a look at these two clips side by side, you'll notice that the sky matches a lot better now than it did before. Another adjustment I want to make is on the skin tone. I'll select the source color picker again and I'll select my skin tone and I'll go over to the iPhone clip select the target and I'll select my skin tone here as well. You can see how it's made these adjustments for the hue, saturation and luma values in order to try and match these clips a little bit better. One last time, I'm going to select the green in this clip and I'm going to match it to the source green here in the iPhone clip. Now that the cameras are matched, you can either leave the grade as is or you can create a creative color grade that you can apply on top of Cinematch. The workflow is super easy and I've personally found Cinematch to be the easiest way to match the color of different cameras. But it's not only useful in a multicam setting with different cameras, it's also useful if you have only one camera, for example a Sony a7 III, and you want to convert the footage from that to a different picture profile from another camera brand. Let's say like a RED camera. I've got the Cinematch plugin applied to this clip, and I'll go ahead and select the source, which is the Sony a7 III, and again, the profile is the S-Log2 S-Gamut XAVCS. And for the target camera, I can pick any one of these camera brands. Let's go with a red camera, specifically a red dragon. Before applying the Rec 709 Transform, I'll turn the plugin off and on again so that you can see how we've gone from the Sony profile to the red dragon profile. I'll apply a Rec 709 Transform and I'll just drop the exposure here. And with a quick white balance adjustment, the shot looks great already. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of a straight up Rec 709 conversion from S-Log2 versus a converted S-Log2 to Red Dragon Log and also converted to Rec 709. You can apply other adjustments here if you want, maybe some additional contrast and saturation, and that looks pretty good. Let's say you want to be able to apply this exact look to clips in future that were shot on your Sony a7 III in S-Log2. You can export a LUT to your desktop I would select 17 cubed and then head over to the desktop where you can rename it. I'll call it S-Log2 to Red Dragon. Then you can add a custom LUT effect to your clips and select this LUT and just like that you have the same look. Cinematch is an incredibly powerful plugin for color matching between cameras but also for color grading in general. If you want to get your hands on it there is a link to a giveaway down below but if you can't wait for the giveaway to end or you missed the giveaway then I'll also leave a link down below for you to purchase it as well. It's worth mentioning that you can download a free trial if you'd like to try it out to see if it works for you, so I'd highly recommend doing that and trying it out for yourself. If this kind of sensor profiling plugin interests you, you might also like this video about a film emulation plugin that is also from Film Convert, so definitely watch that next, but only after you've entered the giveaway.